Guten Tag, welcome to Adam und Craig do stuff, where today we are doing Oktoberfest at Fort Park. If you saw our last video last week, you would have seen that we was at Alton Towers doing their Oktoberfest. So now we're here at Fort Park to do their Oktoberfest. So it'd be good to see how the two compare. And also good to just be back here again at the park. And it's a beautiful day. The weather is amazing. So let's hope it's a good day. Just on our way to Saw for our first ride of the day. And the October music. Uh, on our way to Saw now for our first ride of the day. The music is already pumping and we are in an Oktoberfest mood. Love saw, love, love saw. Do you love saw? I do love saw. He loves saw. Love saw. That's saw done. We don't know where we're going next. What are the queues like? Massive. Oh, um, rush half an hour. Yeah, let's go and rush. Okay. We absolutely bloody love rush. And uh, last time we were here, we were still shut because they haven't quite worked out how they can get it open with all the restrictions that are in place at the moment. But it is now open, and so I don't care what the queue is. We are going on it today at some point. So much, it was so good to get back on it, and it was just as just as good as we ever remember it. I just absolutely love it. That feeling of weightlessness at the top, mm. oh, it's amazing. And that feeling you get in your tummy just as you come down, I love that bit. This is something we've been so excited to try since we saw it advertised on the Fort Park Instagram. It's nitrogeny with pretzel. Uh, so it's salted caramel nitrogeny topped with marshmallow which they then toasted uh, with bits of pretzel in and around it. It looks amazing. How is it? In the words of Adam, it is filthy. And I must say, they're a lot better at toasting marshmallow than Adam is. In my defence, I didn't realise the marshmallow wasn't meant to go directly in the fire. That was absolutely outrageous and currently I would say that Thorpe is probably winning the food battle when it comes to Oktoberfest just based on that. Um, so if you like sweet and salty and if you're looking for something that's sweet enough to give you diabetes and salty enough to give you a heart disease, I would come here. Thorpe Park we've got you covered. Right, so I think we're going to head on to the newly renamed Umpa Rapids now because it's the only thing that's below half an hour other than the teacups but we don't really want to do that after an ice cream because we'll just turn it into a tornado of vomit. Oh. Some brown because they've got this sort of 
German fusion where you get a pretzel with some nacho cheese. So we're going to try it out and see how we can play some pretzels we had last week at the old house. A bit weird, if I'm honest. A bit, a bit of a strange combination. The cheese sauce was nice, yeah. but the pretzel was a bit cinnamony, which yeah. I find a bit odd. Well, it's a bit of pretzel. Yeah, and I don't like cinnamon the best of times. I don't mind cinnamon. Cinnamon with cheese was a bit, a bit strange. Odd. Yeah. And it was sort of just cheese, it wasn't really nacho either. But I, I, I'm a fan of the cheese sauce, just not so much the pretzel. It is now very busy and the queues are massive. We've been trying to avoid the long queues all day but now we've got no option other than to wait a long time. So the two shortest queues are both 100 minutes and that's uh, Crossus or Stealth. And out of the two, I think we both prefer Stealth. There you go, they can see it there, going up and coming back down again. So we're gonna go ride Stealth. Stealth is absolutely amazing, we loved that. Although the queue line did say it was going to be 100 minutes, Craig timed it and it was just over an hour. He did get front row on it though, which is worth it. So now we're going to go and find some more Oktoberfest food. Okay, so the next stop is the uh, what is currently the Bavarian, Bavarian kitchen. It used to be the Wilderness Bar and Kitchen. And they've got some Bavarian fries, which have got chilli and, uh, not chilli, Curry. Yeah. Okay, so the next stop on the Bavarian food um, quest, would you call it, uh, is what is currently the Bavarian Bar and Kitchen. It used to be the, or is normally the Wilderness Bar and Kitchen. Um, we've got some Bavarian fries, Bavarian dirty fries here, um, which are co covered in curry and cheese sauce, I believe, and some crispy onions. Mm. Oh wow, these are really good. I really like these. These might be my favourite so far. What did we think of Bavarian fries? Really good actually. Mm. I thought the idea of cheese and curry was a bit odd, but actually it went really well together. Yeah. The cheese goes with anything. Mm. I still think the nitrogen is my favourite though. Yeah, definitely. I think that's my favourite thing across both events. That's yeah. my favourite food item. But I would say the food here is definitely... There's there's better offerings here than there was last week, I think. Yeah, I agree. Definitely, yeah. Um, but we've just seen the um, the band setting up on the stage, so we're going to go now and check out and see what the entertainment's like. <laughs>
The park is closing in half an hour now, so we're going to round up the day perfectly with a ride in the dark on Nemesis Inferno. Uh, we was going to do a detonator because the, the queue light said it was only going to be 10 minutes, but it was a lot, a lot more than that, so we decided to leave so we can get on this before the park closes. That is Thor Park Oktoberfest done. Um, it is now gone eight o'clock. Unlike Towers, that keep the entertainment going on till half eight. It seems like they're picking up, they're packing up now, um, and they're going home. So we're going to jump in the car and go home. Um, as for the Towers one, it's been a great event. The atmosphere is amazing. There's um, Bavarian versions of all sorts of oh, the Bavarian music from, that they play all around the park is amazing, and the food here has been brilliant, hasn't it? Amazing, really yeah. good food. Uh, now next week we're having a bit of a break because the week after we're going to Blackpool for four days so the week after that we will have five vlogs at some point coming whenever I get around to editing them and getting them all out to you. So you know what to do, you subscribe to us, you ring that bell, you give this video a like and we'll see you next time we do stuff. Tornado of vomit. Oh.